Many of you have asked why I switched to the iCamper, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you why. overlanding tenure I have had uh, three basically three different three tents I've had the CVT tent um, I guess three or four of them or something uh, that was my first one I went with that one primarily because I felt like it was the the the, the big name that everybody was uh, that everybody had um, I had no complaints great tent never had a problem with it I did switch from CVT to 230 because that style of tent was pretty much the same style. Like many, many, many people are making that same different basic style. Like the architecture and the structure, there's a lot of differences between those different manufacturers, namely the fabric. And one of the things that I didn't like about my CVT tent is that the fabric was very heavy, which was not all bad, but it was like heavy, right? So it added a lot of weight to the actual tent structure. But the primary reason I switched from CVT to 23.0 was because 23.0 was local to me. I was doing some things where I was having to like take tents off and put tents on and trying to figure out what I was doing with the trailer and the vehicle. And like, there was a lot of unknowns. There was a lot of things that I just wasn't really sure what I was doing. And Justin with 23.0 was awesome and he was super flexible. And those tents, like I said, it's our similar architecture, but the, the, the material was just as good in the rain, but it was significantly lighter weight. They also had a number of other improvements to the architecture and the structure of the tent that I was particularly attracted to, one of which, which I didn't get a chance to try, was the pole that goes up in there that holds the awning room thing. They He has designed it to where it's collapsible and it just stays all part of it, so you don't have to put the pole in place and wrestle it and all that other stuff. I really, really, really like that. Plus they got the new light suppression technology, I think is what he calls it, where it's totally dark inside. However, I've got this weird arthritic hand. At some point in time, it was around November or December of 2018, and I had literally, like, like I actually just gotten back from, a, from, a, from an overland trip, and my hand was hurting. Like, I didn't even really notice it. It felt like, to me, like a pain that maybe I felt, but then it has, like, gone away or something. Like, I wasn't alarmed by it. But the thing is, it persisted for weeks and then months, probably, probably six or eight weeks went by and then I finally was like, I gotta go do something, you know, cause I was thinking maybe it would stop hurting or maybe something needed to heal. Cause it wasn't like swollen. Like there wasn't any outward signs, it just hurt. So I went and saw an orthopedic doctor and he said, you could have a ligament issue. Um, it could be an arthritic thing. The, 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 the x-ray said that showed the bones that were a little bit, uh, you know, your, your thumb and wrist or whatever bones were a little bit close. He said, my recommend, his recommendation was to brace it for night. Uh, gosh, what did he say? Was it 90? I think it was like four months. Bottom line is we saw a lot of improvement, but I still feel it. When I'm down in Florida, it doesn't hurt at all. When I'm at altitude, it hurts some. Like I just, there's a lot of like little things that like make me feel like it's an arthritic issue, which brings me to my next point. I really wanted a tent that was less abrasive to set up. The 23-0 on the CVT, that tent structure, that tent architecture was, was a really heavy, like hefty, like thing to like to like deploy and the zipper for the for the cover like great tents never had any problems with them but they were very ab like abrasive for me to set up with my gimpy hand i know a lot of people several people friends of mine and i've camped with people that have ran the eye camper tent and i've watched them set it up and it sets up really quick it's really easy i'm going to set up an extra thing the annex tonight which i wouldn't normally do but setting this up i mean you saw how fast and easy it went up this has been so much easier on my hand i've only camped it a few times but it's been so much easier on my hand normally set up the annex but I do it for a couple of reasons if I'm going to when I'm on a trip one of those reasons if I is if I think it's going to be really cold that night like you know if we're talking 40 degrees I'm not gonna waste um, which actually I'm not sure that's gonna get that much colder than that tonight um, but uh, in freezing temperatures I'll set up the heater in there and it'll heat a rise the other thing is uh, if I'm gonna be somewhere for a couple of days actually I've said this for a long time if I'm gonna be somewhere for a couple of days then I'll set that up uh, or if I think I'm gonna have weather. Last night, uh, I set it up because I thought it was gonna be cold. We ended up with a lot of rain. Um, this thing was great, just awesome. The other thing that I, the other reason why I'm setting this up is because 
I'm trying to get used to setting it up and I'm experimenting. And I'm also doing it for you guys. Now I'm not really sure the best way to uh, set the poles up inside the annex thing. I, I honestly like came out last night and I never looked up like how to do any of it. I just kind of figured it out. So if you happen to know a more optimal way to do this, let me know in the comments below because it's actually more help than you know. I'd say so far, my setup is way more elegant, uh, elegant, Indeed. Elegant, eloquent. It's better than last night. The overall construction quality of this is really, really good. There's uh, just a lot of good, I just think really good features. All right, so check this out. Let me show you inside. So I've got my, uh, my Claymore lights there. They're on uh, the yellowest setting, so it looks yellow. More yellow in here than like whatever. Did you call it the yellowest setting? The yellowest setting. I thought that was called warm. It might hurt your eyes and oh, I'm your okay. father and I don't want you to have hurt eyes. So yeah, I mean, look at all the space. It's like so cavernous in here. Yeah, and I so here's these poles I was telling you about, which you can't really see. It's kind of blinding me. I'll like, crank the ISO way up. Was it blank Look at that, spot? ISO 10,000. You can see what those poles look like there. I'm not really sure. So you can see, you see these little flaps down here? Those flaps are like were like great last night. So I just flipped them all in like this. And actually I put rocks on them last night just so they'd stay in place. And they were great for keeping the water out. They probably should be flipped out maybe. I don't really know. Anyway, they're super awesome. You remember how I was telling you that I was having a hard time getting this thing closed earlier? So what was happening was, so I've got this X-PED mat. And so the, the mattresses in these things, I'm told, are... Uh, some of you have told me that I need to get like auto exposure or like whatever, but see, here's the thing. I use a Canon EOS R. I like to shoot in log. I've gone around a custom to shooting in manual. And so, yeah, I just, uh, I, I like that. I like to shoot in manual. Let me check this out. Oh, that's blue. No, that's, that's, that's cool. Oh man, I just looked at it. Let's do it like this one. There's warm. And there's neutral. How's that color? So I got tired of wrapping myself up in a sleeping bag whenever I was camping. I just felt like it was like restrictive. You know, you're like bundled up in a mummy bag and you are nice and warm, but it's like you can't cross your legs, you can't spread them, you can't roll over and all this other stuff. It's just, I don't know. I was just kind of tired of it. And I figure I'm, I'm in a rooftop tent, might as well have like blanket like things. I don't even know why I had been resisting that for so long, but I, I uh, did a little bit of research and I found these two goose i don't even think they're goose down these are down quilts thermo down 15 degree like camping quilt blanket things and i really i really like these because i can kind of treat them like a blanket i'm gonna do a full review on these um in a little while i kind of have um quite a few little camping gear type thingamajiggers that i've been using and testing for a while but i kind of wanted to use them for a little while before like I don't know, like sharing the details, right? I wanted to kind of see how they work, see if I liked them. I do like these things and I have two of them. They were, they were kind of pricey, but I have these and then I put the quilted blanket over me. Um, these things, because they are down, um, I don't really know the physics of how down works, but um, I think as they expand and as your body heat rises into them, it kind of percolates the heat, if that's the right term to use here. And then I put the, the this blanket over it and it kind of traps the heat in and you know i've been down i've camped with this setup in sub 20 degree weather um and i've been fine as a side note if you want to have more information or if you want to see some of the some of the gear that i'm using um in the description below on every video actually and i try to keep this as updated as possible i usually update this every month or two um but but my store my amazon store 
uh, I have a link down below that links to all the gear that I use, past, present, and maybe perhaps future gear that I also like. But you can see I've got, uh, I've got lists of these things, but also have notes, annotation on um, what I use, how I use it, etc. It also includes things like this uh, waterproof duffel bag that I have uh, been using for the last couple of months um, to keep stuff dry in the bed of my truck. But in terms of the eye camper tent, I've been really, really happy with it so far. I really, really like it. The fit and finish and the quality and everything. There's something about having this hard surface over here that it, for some reason I really like it as well. I don't, I don't really know why. So all in all, that's, um, that's my new eye camper tent setup. I really, really like it. Those are the reasons why I switched um, and uh, I, I don't know a whole lot about it. Like this is my, my second trip camping it, probably, I don't know, my fifth or sixth night camping in it. Like I haven't set it up very many times. I haven't slept in it very many times. I have camped in heavy rain. That was pretty awesome to be able to know that this is gonna hold up really well in heavy rain. I mean, it wasn't like heavy Florida rain, but it was, it was good rain for a couple hours there. Overall, super happy, super impressed. Fit and finish is really good. Quality is really good. Um, sets up really good. A lot more easier on, a lot easier on my hand. Uh, if you have any questions about this tent uh, or anything in my setup, make sure you ask me in the, in the comments below. Um, if you have any feedback on how I set it up on maybe a better way to set it up or a faster, easier way of setting it up. Also, uh, don't be afraid to let me know. Um, it's super helpful to me. And uh, yeah, so like all in all, like just having a good time and really, really just excited to have all this. My name's Jason Kirchie. This was a walk around review, first impressions, reasons why, whatever, with the iCamper tent. Um, oh, I should probably tell you, I, I don't even know. I think this is a SkyCamp 2.0. I can link it in the description below. Anyway, like, subscribe, watch you, yeah. See you in the next video. Seagulls will poke you in the what? Seagulls will poke your knees. Do, 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 do. And how does it go? One day when you are older. You could get hit by a boulder While you're lying there screaming Come help me please the seagulls Take your knees